All right, this is going to be 7.4 even and odd functions uh, focusing on equations this time. Okay, so uh, how is this going to work? We're going to get an f of x. All right, we're going to get a function, right? In this case, uh, I just picked a random trinomial x squared plus 3x minus 2. We're going to get much more complicated examples in a little bit. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is change this to f of negative x and then eventually uh, possibly negative f of x. I'm going to talk about how to do each one. Okay, let's start with f of negative x first. All I'm going to do when I want to change this to f of negative x is rewrite this, but everywhere there's an x, I'm going to replace with parentheses negative x. Okay, and I do it exactly like that uh, because when I get into more complicated problems, it will kind of change how things look. If it's multiplying something, you'll see. Okay, plus 3 times parentheses negative x minus 2. Okay, and we can simplify here. Uh, we can uh, start saying, like, for example, negative x squared. If I were to do negative x times negative x, that would end up being positive x squared. Okay, that would be positive x squared. Right? Uh, 3 times negative x would be minus 3x and minus 2. Okay? What we're going to be doing when we talk about if it's even or odd is we're going to see if this matches this. Okay? If something's even, we want to go ahead and rewrite this to the downside. The original equation will equal whatever you end up getting spit out here. So if this was an even equation, this would match exactly. You can see this is plus 3x, this is minus 3x. It doesn't match, but this is not even. But it could still be odd. Okay, it still could be odd. That's what we have for f of negative x. Right? So we have that here. If that's the same as negative f of x, then we have an odd equation. Okay, so what I have to do here for this, when I want to make an equation negative f of x, I just take my original f of x in a parentheses. Okay, so f of x is equal to parentheses x squared plus 3x minus 2. And all I'm going to do is put a negative on the outside of it. Okay, I really just have to distribute it into every term. There's three terms here, I distribute them three times. It just becomes negative x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay? If this matches this, this would be an odd. It doesn't, however, so this would be neither. Okay? So, uh, it kind of goes with these steps here. Okay? Steps. Uh, step 1, find f of negative x. That's what we did here. Okay? Uh, step 2, does it match f, excuse me, f of x? It doesn't, so it's not even. Okay? Does it match f of negative x? So I have to check what is f of negative x excuse me, negative f of x, okay? If it doesn't match either one, it's going to be neither, okay? So uh, we'll look at a couple examples. Uh, we'll get a little bit more complicated. Okay, I'll leave that right there for you. All right, uh, example one. And we're going to go through probably five examples. Uh, three over x squared plus two. Okay, so this is f of x f of x is equal to this. Now, if I want to check if it's even or odd or neither, okay, first thing I'm going to do is plug in, step, uh, so step one, plug in f of negative x. So again, the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to plug in negative x for everywhere there's an x on there, everywhere, right? It can't just be one. It's got to be every situation. So this would be 3 over negative x squared plus 2. Okay, uh, there's a few scenarios you have to kind of start getting uh, used to seeing. For example, negative x squared, okay, squared or to the fourth or to the sixth, that's going to always get rid of the negative, right? Negative x times negative x is positive x. So this would be just 3 over x squared plus 2. Okay, this is step one. Step two is check to see if it matches. 3 over x squared plus 2, 3 over x squared plus 2. If it matches, that means even. That means even. Okay? And you can stop there, really. Okay? Because that's part of step 3. That's conclusion. If it matches f of negative x to f of x, you're done. Even. Okay? If it doesn't match, that's when you take this out. Okay? We'll see examples eventually where it doesn't match. Pretty soon. 
Let's write this first. Time. Okay, uh, example two. So example two, f of x, there's a better marker, equals two times absolute value of x minus five. Okay, so again, step one, what's f of negative x? It's going to be two times absolute value, parentheses, negative x, absolute value minus five. Okay, uh, absolute value, what does it do? It pretty much eliminates anything negative. It makes it any negative into a positive. So this was, if I plug in any number here that's negative, negative 100. It's going to be positive 100. So really, it's not negative x. I can just make this 2x minus 5. Okay, that'll be the same thing either way. Okay, so if I get absolute value of x, that's going to be positive x. This matches even. Done. Okay. So this would be another example. Even. Even. Okay. Example three. A lot of these can go fast. Um, some of these take a little bit more uh, brain power. X to the third minus 4x. Okay. That's my f of x. I want to find out f of negative x. Okay. Pretty much checking if it's even or not. So, uh, f of negative x, I have negative x to the third, whoops, that's not in parentheses, negative x to the third minus 4 times parentheses negative x. Okay? Uh, another type of problem you'll actually see with this is they'll say, like, uh, Karen works through a problem, and they show all three steps, and you have to determine what's wrong. So just make, uh, make sure you understand, like, Everywhere there's an x, I have to plug in negative x. Sometimes that's a mistake they make, right? Uh, so then you work through uh, negative x to the third. That's going to be negative negative x to the third. Negative 4 times negative x is going to be positive 4. Okay? That would be step one. This would be f of negative x. Okay? So step one, this does not match. Here, so I know it's not even. So it's either odd or neither. It's always going to be one of the three. Okay, so it's either going to be odd or neither. So after step one, I go and find out what about uh, negative f of x. So negative f of x. All I got to do is take my original. Okay, so I'm cutting that off for a second. I take my original problem. Okay, this is step two. I take x to the third minus 4x and I put in parentheses. Okay. Again, you only have to do this if it's not even. Okay. I put in parentheses, and I do this in front. I put a negative. Because all I'm going to do is distribute that in. I forgot to put it next here. Oops. Okay. So I distribute this in. This becomes negative x to the third. This becomes positive 4x. If this matches this, this is odd. Okay. Just like how I set up here. If f of negative x, this guy here, is equal to negative f of x, this guy here, ah. Okay, again, because these two match exactly. Okay? Good here. Excellent. Third root of x plus the square root of x. Okay, and this is f of x, obviously. Okay, so uh, I know f of x, I want to find f of negative x. That's step one. So step one, f of negative x is going to be third root of negative x plus the square root of negative x. Okay, so uh, the third root of negative x, third root of negative x, uh, that's going to pop this negative out. If you get the third root of negative x, just know that it's going to be negative x times negative x times negative x in reverse, basically. Okay, so I pretty much pop a negative out here and end up with the same thing I had, the third root of x. Okay, if you want to think about it like this, this would be like negative 1 to the third times x to the third. So 
not to the third, excuse me. Kind of like that, where I can take negative one to the third power out, because it's a perfect square of itself. It's a weird example, but you will see it, so that's why I just kind of wanted to prep you on it. All right? Uh, the square root of negative x doesn't exist, so immediately not an option. The reason I went through this problem, I just wanted you to know, the third root of negative x is negative third root of x, okay? It's important to know you'll see that in a couple problems most likely, all right? Uh, this, because that's not possible, it's going to be neither. It's not even a function, okay? So this would be neither. Okay, and then last but not least, 2 to the x plus 1, okay? This is a uh, exponential function, meaning there's an exponent that's a variable, okay? F of negative x. Okay, so I got 2 times parentheses negative x plus 1, okay? So uh, this problem gets a little weird here, all right? Basically what happens, this is negative x plus 1. Uh, I can send it to a denominator, right? Uh, or I'll just leave it like that, to the negative x plus 1, OK? Uh, this is fine. It doesn't match, though, right? It doesn't match. So uh, I check out negative f x. So I get 2x plus 1. In parentheses negative, okay, and I end up with negative two, x plus one. So this doesn't match. So this would be neither. This would be an example of a neither problem, okay. You don't see it very often, but you'll see it on the assignments. But I just wanted to kind of prep you guys for it, okay. So uh, that pretty much covers uh, odd and even in terms of all the things you could possibly see. Um, all the things that could try to trick you up. Just make sure that uh, when they ask you, for example, um, to find a, a step that's incorrect, make sure you're taking close attention to uh, what, what they're doing in terms of either algebra or if they're plugging in that X is right, um, if they're determining if it's even or odd correctly, right? So uh, just make sure you follow all your rules if you follow the rules, then it'll kind of take care of itself for those types of problems. A little bit tougher, but yeah, it's fine. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, email me. Other than that, you guys are good to go. 7.4.